what is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, this is for today. We're gonna get us back with a brand new Tokyo Ghoul Rude episode today. We're gonna be reacting to episode number seven. Eventually, I'm gonna run out of fingers, aren't I? <laughs> We're gonna be reacting to episode number seven of Tokyo Ghoul Rude. I'm super excited for this episode of Tokyo Ghoul. Last episode, we got to see pretty much some more about Amon and his partner and more backstory about, you know, the partner's uh, relationship with Mr. Mado and how she views Amon and so many different things with Kaneki going on and Toga's dealing with school. So much stuff is going on. So much stuff is piling on together and I'm super excited to see how it all covers and actually collapses with one another and how it actually affects the story so far this season of Tokyo Guru Day has been actually absolutely amazing and I'm thoroughly enjoying it so I'm really hoping you guys are enjoying the reactions show me that you guys are actually enjoying the reactions by leaving a like on this video let's try to go for 50 likes on this video I don't know if we can do it but we're getting close in every video that we've made thus far so if we can actually hit 50 likes on this video that'd be absolutely amazing nonetheless be sure to subscribe to this channel if you guys are new to this channel that'd be greatly appreciated also, bear in mind that I do have a Patreon, which you guys can view at the top of the description down below, where you guys can view the full reaction to all the videos we post on this YouTube channel. The full, unedited, raw version of each and every single reaction will be on my Patreon. You guys also get the videos early, before they're actually uploaded to YouTube themselves, and on top of that, as I said, it's the best way to support this channel. So if you guys do want to actually support this channel, that's the way to do so. Nonetheless, episode number 7 of Tokyo Ghoul Rude. I'm super excited to find out what actually happens next. Let's get started. The heck? What the heck did I just come into, bro? <laughs> Kaneki is tripping. Kaneki is fully tripping out. He's been tripping out all, all throughout this season. Oh, wow. Is he transforming again? I'm scared. Oh, wow. What the heck? We're actually being able to actually see some bits of him fighting in this form. It's crazy. What the heck is going on? Oh, wow. It's kind of gone. Oh, it's Rize pulling him down. And Jason pulling him down. That is terrifying. The centipede. Oh, my gosh. He's getting pulled down from his past trauma. His past villains. Is that, what's, is that what, what's actually, like, messing him up? It's gotta be, you know? I mean, you gotta think. kaneki has been tortured for, like, weeks by Jason. They're, like, haunting him. Wow. That was crazy, man. That was a crazy way to start the episode. I'm excited to see what's inside this episode. Episode number seven of Tokyo Ghoul. But with that being said, man, nonetheless, enough talk. Let's get right back into this episode. Episode number seven of Tokyo Ghoul Rude. All right, here we are. Aw, oh, man, he knew me watching the news. She's so adorable, man. Kaneki Ken. Ah, she's like worried about Kaneki, huh? Feel bad for Hinami, man. She's lost her parents, and Toga's busy. Kaneki's gone. Look at Toga. She's, you know, working hard, asleep. Aw, oh, man. I got the feels. <laughs> Show always makes me feel like that. Aw, oh, man. Toga's working hard at her, like, campus and her schoolwork and stuff. Ah, so much crazy stuff is going down. And Tegu's now open. Aw, Nishiki's talking to a girl, okay. Aw. <laughs> what is love? Are you sure you want to ask me that? Aw, she's asking uh, Nishiki about love. <laughs> you go out of your way to make the other person feel happy. And you do anything to be close to them. Aw. <laughs> you look for advice again, you me? The devil apes at your service. I don't think you want to ask that guy. <laughs> you just entered in Tegu. Who's this? We know who this is. <laughs> by sweet Kaneki. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. This character, dude. I love and hate this character. I love him and I hate him at the same time. <laughs> He's so extra, man. It's like, really? You gotta come into the store and do this? Really, bro? Oh, wow, we did hear that a few episodes back. Wow, is that why he's, like, transform like transforming weird, or what? I'd like for you to continue gathering information and reporting back to me. <laughs> why, of course! He so this guy's gonna be delivering information to us and in Tegu. <laughs> What's he gonna go do now? Hold on! Oh, no, Hinami, don't go with this man. Don't go with this guy, please. He's fine. More than fine, I would say. So put all of those nasty fears to rest. Aw, <laughs> He's worried about Kaneki, man. Would you join me for a chat? Don't go with the creepy guy, man. Don't, you can go with anybody else besides this guy. <laughs> we finally get some one-on-one -on -one time. Very well, shall we be 
Bro, no, don't don't go with the bro. He's too weird. There better be somebody looking after her. Like whenever she went to the the, the bookstore thing. I think this character is good. I mean, he helped us before, so I don't think he'd do anything bad. But I don't know. He's kind of weird. It also means true love. Lots of love being announced in this episode. And last episode, we got to see the detective Aman and his partner kind of kind of lovey dovey a little bit. Not really. Oh my gosh, this girl. The book author. <laughs> I hope somebody's watching Hinami, man. I'm scared for her being out here alone with all these suspicious people. This character seems kind of cool. Kind of like her, kind of suspicious at the way she kind of smirked about the name of Kaneki. Aww. Aww. Is that supposed to be what's messing up Kaneki so much? The fact that he's alone? I bet a lot of things are kind of messing Kaneki up. Aww. Aww, you just crushed her dreams a little bit. I mean, told her the truth, but kind of crushed her a little bit. So whenever you start feeling down, drop me a line and I'll come running. Aww. <laughs> she made a new friend. The book author person. Kind of suspicious of her, though. Kind of a little bit suspicious of her, not gonna lie. Where are we at now? With this guy? The weird guy? I don't even want to watch, bro. He's so... <laughs> What the heck, man? Oh my god. Whose blood is that? I bet that better not be Kaneki's blood from like up season one. Better not be. I think it is. Bro, he's so weird. Why is he so weird? <laughs> Why you gotta be like this? Do that at home, man. <laughs> not the not the restroom of some public place. Oh my god, man. So weird for no reason. Everybody in this show is weird somehow. Speaking of weirdness, here these two are. the heck? See, I'm more of this book author person. I'm scared. Suspicious of her. She's somewhat of a celebrity. Somewhat of a celebrity. Yep. She's got a, like, person who invented the book that Kaneki and Hinami like. Don't worry. In fact, there's only one question I wanted to ask you. What does she want to ask the detective agency people? Do you think that it's possible to create a ghoul using artificial means? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's possible, right? I mean, you can do that. Kaneki's kind of did it. <laughs> Got Re Re Rize's organs, and now he's a ghoul. I don't have the slightest idea. I feel like she's kind of here to like see what they're. I don't know. Is she a ghoul? Is is the author a ghoul person? I don't know. I feel like she's trying to get the little scoop of what they know. I love how she's just chilling back there. <laughs> she likes like she's lost. She's like this. <laughs> oh my god. She doesn't want to talk to her. Is she kind of suspicious of her. I don't know. She likes the coffee. The heck? She's a ghoul, man. She likes the coffee. Why else should we have colored hair? All the main characters <laughs> have colored hair. Who, who's a Nintegu? Who's this? I'm leaving the room. <laughs> oh, God, he just showed up all of a sudden. What? Why is he a Nintegu? What the heck? <laughs> Dude came in like he, he didn't leave. <laughs> oh, and Hinami's here. She's going to see Kaneki. You missed Antegu or something? I have a feeling he's not gonna be his cheery self. And Hanami's gonna be kinda disappointed. I don't know, I don't know, we're gonna have to find out. I love how my man just appeared with his eye patch like nothing happened. <laughs> Here's Toga doing the schoolwork. Working hard, she really is working hard. I'm kinda proud of her. But I don't think she's doing well cause she's like concerned with all this ghoul stuff going on. She really wants to get into Kami, that little, uh, university, I guess it is, right? Oh, she came all this way to tell Toga that Kaneki's back. I was wondering where she was running. Oh, she's gone. Oh, no, don't leave. I'm scared for him. He's, like, out in public. Like, everybody knows your face now, man. You're known as the eye patch. You've got an eye patch, so it's <laughs> distinguishable. Oh, no. Why did he go to Antegu? Oh, this is kind of a nice scene, man. Finally get to talk to Kaneki again. On a bridge to us all sentimental? Come on now. Oh, they gotta make it so sentimental. What are they gonna say to each other? I don't know. Oh, wow. Aw, wants you to come back to Antegu. That's what I've been saying. Oh, he hasn't decided whether he wants to keep doing what he's doing or join Antegu. 
Oh man. I'm gonna do it too. <laughs> That's kinda hard. That kinda hurt my finger. <laughs> Oh wow, that's cold. She's mad at him for leaving. Dang, like that. Aw oh, man. Aw, oh, this is kind of a cool scene, man. Oh wow. That is cold, Toga. So mad at him. Let's give my man a hug. Aw, dude. Ah, uh, so cold. Oh, that little smile, man. I wish I could tell you. What's Kaneki planning? Was that, a, I wish I could tell you, like, I don't know myself, or was that, like, I have a plan? I don't know. She can't focus on her schoolwork after that. Oh, <laughs> Oh man, we all miss Kaneki, dude. <sighs> wow. This has been a really good episode as well. I've been really enjoying this episode. Is Doves? Oh, shoot, man. The doves are in here. I feel like that book author person told them to come here to try to like mess them up a little bit. I don't know. I was told that Ken Conaghy used to work here. Yes. Oh no. I'm scared. Do I know you? Guess not. Sorry, you seem so familiar. Have we ever met before? Oh my god. Oh wow, they're gonna put two to two together. Thanks for the promo, man! <laughs> Love that character. <laughs> Uh, I don't like that, man. They're kind of suspicious. I don't know. Does he know? We'll be back soon. Oh, no. We'll be back soon. He knows. He knows that that is in Tegu or something, man. Oh, my gosh. That was a really good episode of... Tokyo Ghoul, man. I thoroughly enjoyed that episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the reaction of that episode. Episode number seven of Tokyo Ghoul. He knows. I think he knows. So much stuff happened inside of that episode, man. First things first, we got to see the book author person be pretty kind of, pre pretty much kind of ex suspicious. And she's going on telling like the detective people like nudging like, hey, you should probably check out, you know, this, this coffee shop. And I think she did that for a reason. I'm kind of suspicious of her, man. I'm kind of suspicious of her. She, she seems really, really... I don't know. I think she's a main character. I think she might be a ghoul because she liked the coffee and, and ghouls like coffee. I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, but that was a really good episode, dude. That was a really, really good episode. We got to see a little bit more of Hinami, uh, Kaneki, and Toga actually met each other as well for the first time in a while. It did not go too, too well, um, as you guys saw. <laughs> did not go well at all. Toga's really mad at him, and I think that Kaneki either has a plan or he doesn't know what he's doing himself. We got to see a little glimpses of the purple-headed guy as well. He kind of came into Antegu, he's giving off information and stuff, and maybe he is the person who tells Antegu themselves that, you know, you guys better, like, leave soon because they're going to be coming the doves are going to be coming very very soon so i think that's what actually is going to happen because they know they know they played it off at the end like have i seen your face hmm i don't, I don't think so i don't think so <laughs> yeah they he played it off and then you saw his face like right when he exited the actual coffee shop it was like this and he knew man he knew that they were going to come back with force they knew that the people in there were ghouls and things didn't add up so that's going to be really really crazy but yeah, man, that was a really, really good episode of Tokyo Ghoul Rude. Hopefully you guys had actually enjoyed it. If you guys did, then be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel. If you guys are new to this channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. Also, bear in mind that I do have a Patreon. So if you guys do, in fact, want to actually support this channel, that is the best way to actually support this channel by my Patreon. You guys can find my Patreon in the top of the description down below, where you guys can view the full reaction to all the videos we post on this YouTube channel itself. And on top of that, you guys get the early reaction before it's actually uploaded to YouTube itself. Nonetheless, man, let's talk about this episode episode man a little bit more um Toga's actually doing her schoolwork. A nice little adorable scene actually started us out in the very, very beginning with uh, Hinami actually coming up to Toga that was asleep on her desk and gave her a jacket, so that was really, really adorable. What else happened inside this episode? The actual purple-headed guy actually came inside the, the coffee shop, and um, he made a grand entrance. <laughs> he made a crazy entrance, and he talked to the butler guy, and maybe... 
maybe he told the bubble. Maybe this is like maybe a scene that happened in in the forward time. Or I, I'm not too. I'm I'm pretty sure that's wrong. I was probably I was thinking that maybe he like told um, the butler guy that hey the the doves are suspecting you guys as ghouls or something like that. But maybe not. Maybe we'll see him do that in the future. What else happened inside of this episode? Uh, Hinami and the butler girl. Hinami and the dude with the purplish bluish hair actually uh, talked to one another, and I was kind of suspicious. He's kind of creepy. I didn't kind of trust her or trust him with uh, Hinami. So that was kind of scary, but. <laughs> he actually talked about love and stuff, and that's when the book author person came in. She also talked about love and gave uh, Hinami the hard truth that was actually kind of cold and kind of messed up to tell a little kid, but um, someone had to do it, which I'm actually really suspicious of that character. I'm really, really suspicious of that character. She actually talked um, to the detective people, and I'm pretty sure she actually snitched. I think she snitched, because why else is she, like, so interested in, in Hinami? I mean, she's supposed to be some sort of celebrity person, so why does she care so much about, you know, talking to this fan of this girl? I don't I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I think that she actually snitched on Antegu, and, um, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I like her, man. I'm not sure if I like her. She seems kind of suspicious. She's kind of, like, smirking and stuff in the previous episodes, talking about Kaneki and stuff, so I'm kind of suspicious of that character. Nonetheless, I'm pretty sure she snitched, um, because after that scene, we actually got her talking to the detective guys, and that's when the detective guys actually entered Antegu, and... They're saying, we're going to come again. We're going to mess them up because this is Antegu or something like that. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm scared. Nonetheless, that was this episode of a Tokyo Gore Rude, episode number seven. If you guys had actually enjoyed, you guys are going to do. Well, with that being said, I'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>